Talk with Nate Olson, Scorebook Live, college uh, with high school football uh, starting, well, today, really. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, We're calling this week zero, right? It is week zero mm-hmm. in high school football, Nate? Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so why don't we call yep, it week, week zero? I'll never, I'll never pick up on this. Um, well, and, I, and and don't get me started on all that, and I'll tell you to eat off my lawn and all that stuff, but I, I'm... <laughs> I think it'd be great to just start with week one, but um, coaches like the flexibility of three non-conference games in four weeks for playing out-of-state competition, and that's what I was told a few years ago. But, yeah, it's an extra week of football, and it's uh, there, there's a couple of weeks where it's a little lean because, you know, some teams aren't playing. It's a little different, but um, it gets you it gets you football earlier, which I think we all like that. Well, what are we uh, what are we starting with tonight? What uh, what are you what are you going to be focusing on? Well, this this is a big game in your backyard. Uh, the Battle of the Bone is what they call this. Uh, Van Buren and Alma. It's a big rivalry in the River Valley. Um, you know, both these teams. It's 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 a big game for them every year. Uh, they look forward to it. I think it normally kicks the season off, but Alma won seven in a row, and then. Uh, Van Buren's won the last four. So uh, the pointer program, you know, got a little breath of fresh air the last couple of years. Um, uh, they're they're uh, replacing Crosby Tuck with uh, by promoting Mo Henry, who is the defensive coordinator. His son just happens to be one of the great playmakers in the state. We think he is going to have uh, a really huge year. He had a big year last year. Malachi Henry, the receiver, uh, he can play a little cornerback. 1,100 yards receiving, 17 touchdowns, and that was without his uh, great quarterback, Bryce Perkins, for most of the year. Perkins, this this is an interesting story with Van Buren. You know, we talked about this last year. Uh, the pointers start off 4-0, one of the real feel-good stories of the season, um, on a roll. And you, we, we know they have to get into that rugged 6A West schedule, so there could be a few bumps there, but maybe a playoff team but then they lose six straight without Perkins. Perkins injures himself, broken collarbone out for the season. Uh, and that was really the turning point. But I, I know that uh, Mo Henry is really excited about having Perkins back. You know, he and he and Malachi really formed a good duo, you know, and that was kind of interesting because Perkins was just a sophomore. So uh, those guys should be back. I, I think there's going to be a lot of scoring in this game. I, I, Van Buren likes to open it up. Um, and and Henry is a threat to catch. Or Malachi Henry is a threat to take the ball to the end zone anytime he touches it, and uh, lines up in a lot of different positions, special teams, that kind of thing. So I, I know that that they're they're really excited about getting the uh, the Henry era going, and they would love to 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 start that with a, a win in this rivalry game. And when you play in that rugged league, and we'll talk more about that. Several of the teams that that you focus on are in that. It is very, very tough. And so in this non-conference, you'd like to get a couple wins under your belt and get some confidence going. You know, Alma, they were 3-7 and last year. They returned 10 starters. Uh, Joe Trusty is one of them. I know they're excited about him. Great quarterback. Uh, They can air it out. They're going to have to find somebody else to catch the ball because Connor Stacy, who is now a track athlete at – UCA, he was one of the better receivers in the state last year, regardless of class. So, trusty, to go through for over 2,000 yards. He'll have to find somebody else to throw it to, but uh, he will. Somebody will emerge there, uh, and they're they're uh, looking for some success early as they get into the 5A West Conference, which is also very tough. Uh, I know they're looking to try to start on a positive note and and get a couple wins before they go in there too. So, I expect. A very high-scoring game tonight, an exciting game with a lot of uh, passing, and uh, I think it'll be a fun way to start off. And I know that in the River Valley, there should be a great crowd there tonight. You mentioned about uh, teams playing out of school, out of uh, state schools, and uh, the two Bentonville high schools are welcoming in uh, teams from really right across the border: Broken Arrow at Bentonville, Booker T at Bentonville West. What do you think of these games yeah. Saturday? Oh, they're they're going to be good. Um, 
so so just to talk about betting real real quick, Carter Nye takes over at quarterback for Drew Wright. Drew is a, a really good baseball player. He's playing junior college baseball. His dad, Dan, was um, a letterman, a good player at Arkansas, played in the big leagues. Mom was a, a bas- or a basketball and, and a softball letter winner. So they replaced him with Carter Nye. Carter took some snaps last year. I, I think the thing that makes him feel good at night is that he's got Josh Ficklin to hand the ball off, a guy who ran for over 1,000 yards. He's a college prospect. And the other thing that makes him feel good is that he's got Joey Sua uh, protecting his backside. Joey, the left tackle, going to Arkansas, a four-star recruit, probably. I mean, I think he should be pretty close to five-star. He, if, there, if there are too many linemen better than him in the country, I'd like to see him. He, he looks the part. He's huge, but in a good way. You know, streamlined, but very big and muscular, a type of guy that at the high school level can really, really dominate a game uh, and and lead everybody else. I mean, the, the line that Benville is usually good, but, um, you know, he's a guy that can kind of be a difference maker if there aren't, even if there aren't that many, you know, good players around him. So uh, Benville looking to to regain a stranglehold on that 7A West again last year, they, they succumbed to. Fayetteville, and they'd like to win that thing again. Uh, I think the West is going to be wide open. We'll talk about that as we go along. But Benville, probably the slight favorite right now. This is a, a tough game for them. Broken Arrow ranked number five in the SB Live Oklahoma preseason poll. Uh, Josh Blankenship, a lot of people remember him. Uh, Bill, his dad, was at Fayetteville after a long time in Oklahoma and was at Tulsa. Now Bill's the coach at Owasso, who's ranked number four in the poll. Josh is a uh, team is five and uh, was one uh, very close to getting to the, to the Oklahoma six a one state championship game last year uh, in his debut after he coached out at Adams state in Colorado for a couple years as a head coach there in the college ring. So this is a, this is a heck of a way to open the season last year. Bentonville played a couple really good schools from Missouri. Now they play broken arrow. Uh, this is, this is a, a playoff type game. Um, both of these teams are going to be tested uh, playing this game early. Ben Bill West, the team I really like, and I, I'm going to go on record now as saying this is kind of my, you know, last year I said Fayetteville I thought was a breakout team, and guess what happened? You know, they, they ended up doing it. I think Bentonville West could be that team that isn't getting talked about a lot to go to a state championship that might be able to do it, that might be able to win the West and edge out Bentonville the big brother over there. They've played a lot of young players the last couple of years, and now those guys are maturing. And you've got a guy like Jake Casey, who's now a senior or a junior, rather, sorry, 2,300 yards, 21 touchdowns last year. Um, so he's emerged. He's a good quarterback. I think he's going to really kind of break out this year. Braden Jones, whose dad's on the coaching staff, he can play everywhere. He plays linebacker, running back, special teams. Ran like a 4 3 40 at the Arkansas camp last year. He's going to UCA. Everything seems to be kind of right for them to mature this year. 14 starters returning. Booker T. Washington, uh, a, a very good team over in the Tulsa area. Um, they return a quarterback that, that threw for about 2,400 yards last year in Latham Boone. So I think this will be another. Both of those games in Benton County will be really big. Uh, and I think that the, the Arkansas teams have a good shot to win both of those games. Mm-hmm. Staying up there in, in uh, the NWA and, and in 7, 7A football, Nate, uh, you got Springdale there. They're hosting the, the Goblins of Harrison. Springdale last year, I did a lot of their games last year, and they either went one of two ways. They got blown out or they lost heartbreakers. It, it, there was no in-between uh, either on the winning the games that they won or the games that they they lost. Um, how how do you see that one planning out, and and what kind of season the Red Dogs are going to be able to have? Well, I, yeah, it, and I, I put that on there because I knew that you had you had done stuff with them, and I, you know I, you saw it last year. There there was some there were some up and some ups, and then there were some downs, mm-hmm. and uh, they you know, but I think they made progress. And and uh, Brett Hobbs, you've got a good a good guy there because. He cares about the program. He played there, and you know he's trying to do what you do at a lot of programs that have been down, and that's try to get uh, participation up, to try to get people out, the numbers, 
and get some excitement built. He's got 13 returning starters. Um, so I, I think that what, what this is for them is a winnable game. I think when you have a, won a lot of games, you know, one and nine last year, but like you said, they were in some games. This is a game against the Harrison team that's kind of rebuilding. They've lost a lot of good players from solid. I mean, they've been really good in the 5A West the last couple of years. I mean, made some deep runs last year, lost the PA in the playoffs, but could be a little bit of a rebuilding year a little bit with them. Springdale is the larger school here by a couple classes. I think this is one that they need to win, and they need to use their depth, numbers, their experience, um, and and kind of take control of this one. But, you know, the thing about Harrison is, is that they have they have great tradition, and uh, they, you know, they know how to win, even when they, uh, you know, when they're younger. And I've got the, the coach, Kalon, has returned after a year away from there. He came back. He was a coordinator. He's come back. And, uh, you know, they're, they're looking to, they, they may, they may have some, some, uh, growing pains this year, but I think they think that they can be competitive too. And this is, they look at this game as a challenge playing a bigger school and they'll be really ready for this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, another game that's uh, a lot of people are going to be interested in watching and hearing about and, uh, Lake Hamilton and Lakeside. And what are, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah. Well, uh, Lake Hamilton has, has kind of controlled this theory in the last couple of years. I won several in a row. Uh, they're, they're the bigger school. Um, but, uh, you know, Lakeside is, has, has done really well under Jared McBride, and they, they uh, have put up a lot of numbers uh, offensively. And, um, you know, they, they lost a good quarterback in Jordan Mills and uh, Braylon Russell, the, the running back who committed to Arkansas, is going, he's playing at Benton this year. So that, that was that was kind of a – it wasn't kind of. It was big blows to lose those guys and another good receiver. But they have won, and they won pretty consistently. Um, they haven't been able to win this game. The fifth, I think they've played five five times since the series was was halted, and they, they're over and four. So they'd love to be competitive in this one. Um, but, you know, their big focus is trying to get deeper in the playoffs. And I think uh, playing a team like Lake Hamilton – helps you do that, especially when you're younger. And the Wolves are very good. You know, last year got off to a hot start and then kind of slid a little bit at the end. Um, they took a good look at what they need to do this year to shore that up a little bit to make a deeper run. Uh, Tommy Giller and the company trying to make some adjustments. Uh, they can ride Justin Crutchmer very far. He is a talented running back and linebacker uh, and emerged last year when one of their other running backs went down. And uh, he moves strictly, mostly to offense. So uh, they're they're going to be a player in the in the six A West. We're going to talk about that all year long with Greenwood, Plasky Academy, Little Rock Christian, Lake Hamilton. But this is just like the Battle of the Bone tonight. This is a huge game in Garland County, and Lakeside would love to. It's kind of like with Benton and Bryant. They, you know, Bryant has owned that series, but Benton has been good. You know, they they've come back, bounced back and won. Went to the the championship game. So I think Lakeside kind of feels like that too. Whatever happens in this game, they feel good about the rest of the year that they're going to get better and better, but certainly they'd love to, to compete in this one and have a chance to win it. Real quick, Nate, you brought up Greenwood. Uh, what what do you think about the Green uh, the Bulldogs opener tonight or this week against Stillwater? Stillwater ranks 15th in the SBI Oklahoma poll. You got a familiar name at quarterback. He doesn't have quite as good a mullet as his dad, but Gage Gundy uh, is a good quarterback. He's gonna. He's a FCS type of guy, um, but you know may end up walking on for his dad or something. But he's getting some FCS looks. But the Pioneers they, they won forty one straight games over the past, or won forty one games in the last four seasons, and so they're a winning program. What semifinals of six eight two last year? This is a big test for Greenwood going on the road. I like it because for Chris Young's team because they're going to face some really tough games in that conference. And I think they've decided, hey, we're going to play a tough non-conference schedule to get ready for this. Going way out there, playing Stillwater is a big test. Uh, Hunter Houston, the quarterback, over 3,000 yards passing. They're loaded on the perimeter receiver. They've got a good defense. Uh, They're in our top five in Arkansas in the SB Live poll, so it's 
two really good teams going at it. There's some, you know, you look at this, some really good Arkansas and Oklahoma matchups, and, and hopefully at the end of the the week we'll be able to say Arkansas is three and zero in those games. But I, I think this this might be the toughest one, just because they have to go on the road. But we never count Greenwood out. We always feel like they have a chance to win when, when they're playing well, and uh, we, we expect them to go out there and, and play a whale of a game in this opener. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports, contests, and events with first-to-market odds and lines. Find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. Bet online continues to be the top online resource for all your sports information, from live in-game betting, props, and futures. Head to Bet Online today, or use your mobile device to join today and make your first sports bet use our promo code believe 50 to receive your 50 percent welcome bonus on your first deposit that's believe b-l-e-a-v 50 that's believe b-l-e-a-v 5-0 bet online where the game starts